What's up, ballers? It's Bobby Buckets back with another episode of NBA Live Mobile. Super excited because, as you can see, we have our first NBA Live Mobile Halloween event. So it's called Balloween, and our packs that we got just now are called Graveyard Packs. So basically, what's guaranteed is two Balloween players and two gold or better players in the six item pack. That's actually a pretty good deal to me, um, considering the fact that you're getting the event players and gold players guaranteed. So I'm going to go ahead and open these up. I've heard that a lot of people are pulling elite. So hopefully we got a chance at that. We get Anderson Verjao right there. All right, Anderson Verjao and Metal World Peace. So two silvers right there. So not great, but we still got three packs left. So we do still have a chance. We get another Anderson Verjao right there. And then Mike Miller. Ooh, all right. So we got three because we got Alfred Payton right there. Uh, so I think that's going to be a solid pull. Um, and also, oh yeah, I forgot to tell you guys, there is an Anthony Davis Master Card for this set. And it's a 90 overall card, but on Halloween, it becomes a 99, which is crazy. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to that. Can we get another gold Balloween card? Mm. Alright, so that one was a, another silver, that's alright. Uh, and we get a weekly objective reward, guessing a silver trophy, uh, Tim Frazier. All right. And we got one pack left. Uh, after this, we'll go and check out the sets and see what all we need to put these together. Uh, so it looks like we're going to end up not getting any elites, but that is all right. So we'll go over to sets. Should be under weekly events. Let's see. No, maybe it's under players. Uh, yes, it is. All right. So, tricky players. This set uh, looks like you put in event collectibles and silver trophies. Fortunately, I have silver trophies for days, so I'm not going to have to spend any money on that. Uh, for Balloween, Anthony Davis, we're going to have to put in... Wow, that's a... That's quite a... Uh, quite a big price so I guess we'll go ahead and put in our Russell Westbrook because we have no chance there's gonna be no chance we're gonna use that uh, so we'll put in our silver Balloween players this is gonna be a pretty expensive card hopefully the prices won't be too high uh, since there are so many players that are gonna be out and we'll put in Alfred Payton the expensive thing really is going to be the those five elite Balloween players. So hopefully, man, that's going to be really expensive. Um, I'm going to try to play the event as much as I can, just so I don't have to spend a ton of coins um, getting that. And also, it looks like we are going to have a lot of chances to trade in the collectibles for these. So if we go back to live events... Hopefully it's going on right now. All right, so we do have Balloween, so we will go ahead and play it once just to give you guys an idea. Uh, so we're going to be using a shooting guard. Where's my best shooting guard? It probably is. Actually, I like uh, that Clay Thompson shooting guard. We will try that out and see. Okay, so that's pretty easy. Just score within the spots. If you've got a halfway decent shooter, then that's going to be a super, super easy event. Oh, wow. This is... All right. So, like, no effort going into this event. You don't have to play defense. Um, there's not really... Time isn't going to be an issue, especially if you have an insanely sh good shooter like Clay Thompson. Uh, and we're going to open that up. I'm assuming that it's going to be just the collectible. Maybe there's a chance it's going to be a player as well. So, we get... Ooh, that's an elite collectible. Um, and then let's see, players maybe? Ooh, all right, so that was actually pretty nice. That was probably because it was the first time we beat the event, uh, but we did get the collectible, or two of the collectibles, and uh, one player, so we will head back to players, and let's see, maybe it's over here, or maybe it's, okay, yeah, that's just a generic collectible, so... Honestly, I'm probably going to be going for the elites first just to see what those elite players are. I'm guessing they'll probably be on Twitter, but I would like to see that. Oh my gosh, that's a 
Mm, you got to put in three elite players in order to get one elite. Oh my gosh. All right. So this is going to be an expensive card. I better get ready to spend all my coins. Uh, but I, that's going to be about it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoy. Let me know if you think it's worth it to go for this card. It seems like it's going to be super, super expensive. Uh, but please be sure to comment, like, and subscribe if you guys enjoyed. And I will see you guys next time.